Pancreatic cancer is seventh leading cause of cancer death worldwide. I am Dr. Nikhil Agrawal. I am director of gastrointestinal and hepatopancreatic biliary surgery at Max Super Speciality Hospital Saket in New Delhi. Today we'll talk about pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is an aggressive cancer and it affects pancreas which is a gland in upper abdomen behind the stomach. This gland produces enzymes for digestion of food and hormones for control of blood sugar. Pancreatic cancer develops when cells in the pancreas go out of control. The symptoms of pancreatic cancer include pain abdomen, jaundice, weight loss and loss of appetite. We should know about the symptoms of pancreatic cancer so that when we notice these symptoms we can connect with our doctor and seek their advice. The risk factors for pancreatic cancer are smoking and family history of pancreatic cancer. Some patients with uh, hereditary pancreatitis or other inflammations of pancreas can also develop pancreatic cancer. Risk factor doesn't mean that somebody will get the cancer. It only increases the risk of somebody getting the cancer. Now, once a patient or someone is suspected of having pancreatic cancer based on these uh, symptoms we just told, we diagnose a cancer or stage them. So how do we diagnose and stage pancreatic cancer? We do a CT scan or a PET CT scan depending on the clinical condition. And we also do some blood tests to check for the level of jaundice. We do blood tests to uh, check for the tumor markers such as CA19.9 and then we stage the cancer. Broadly speaking, when we detect a pancreatic cancer, we divide them into few categories where we want to decide, we want to operate these patients first or we should give them chemotherapy first and then operate or we never operate them. We just treat them with uh, chemotherapy or immunotherapy or targeted therapy. Now, uh, when we stage the disease with a CT scan, we call them resectable, borderline resectable, locally advanced or metastatic. Once we have done that, we formulate a treatment plan which will involve the modalities which we just discussed, chemotherapy, surgery and sometimes radiation therapy also. With these modalities, if we detect a pancreatic cancer early, we can treat them with curative intent. Unfortunately, many of these patients are detected very late where they have already metastasized or means they have spread to other parts of our body. And in those cases, we treat them only with chemotherapy. The patients who are detected early, we either, op we either operate them or we first give them chemotherapy and then operate them. Uh, these patients can have meaningful cure and survival rate. So friends, uh, don't ignore your symptoms. If you have any of these symptoms, you should consult your doctor and get evaluated properly. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.